Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's July 19th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. This is a week where national political headlines took a lot of the attention away from the financial markets after the assassination attempt on presidential candidate Donald Trump, followed by the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. In the markets overall, equity markets were significantly volatile following the assassination attempt and amid the political headlines, but the bond markets were generally calmer. Both the Treasury market and the municipal markets saw fewer changes. The municipal market was heavily focused on a new issue calendar, the heavy new issue calendar, of more than $13 billion of sales, led by large transactions for the New York City Transitional Finance Authority, the University of California, and Miami-Dade Airport. In the BAM-insured world, BAM insured 14 transactions with a total of $269 million par insured. That was led by $106 million for the city of Carmel, Indiana's waterwork system across two series. That was priced by Stiefel. And $56 million for the city of Beaumont, Texas, also a water and wastewater transaction priced by Estrada Hinojosa. More information on the Beaumont transaction is available on a BAM Credit Insights video. You can see that on our YouTube page. Uh, overall, demand met supply. Uh, Lipper reported $892 million of inflows to municipal bond mutual funds this week, which helped absorb that heavy new issue calendar and will be relied on upon for next week's calendar as well. $11 billion of new issues are on the calendar for next week's, led by the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority and the Santee Cooper Power System in South Carolina. That's likely to be the last heavy week of new issuance in the month of July. The Federal Reserve's Open Markets Committee meets on July 31st, and the new issue calendar is expected to ramp down ahead of any volatility around a potential announcement on interest rates at that time. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week.